It's almost Halloween, and once Halloween hits, we're full steam into holiday. I have a lot to cover in November and December. I've heard from a lot of people that this is the first year they're gonna be hosting the holidays, and that's a big deal, so I wanna make sure I'm delivering as much holiday as I can this year. Like the carrots, this is a bit of a holiday thing before the holidays officially begin. And we're gonna make roasted broccoli. As a kid, I hated broccoli. I used to get my dish, spit all the broccoli out into a napkin, and then secretly throw it into the garbage at the end of dinner. I hated it, and the older I got, and the more into cooking I got, I realized that roasting everything makes it better. 85% of the time when I'm making vegetables, I'm throwing them in the oven and trying to roast them. So what we're gonna do today is show you first how to just simply roast broccoli properly. Best when it's charred, roasted on a high heat. We're gonna roast around 450 degrees again. You can even roast it higher if you want. Just be careful and keep an eye on it. I'm actually gonna roast the broccoli with shallots as well. That's a optional addition. Again, you can just roast the broccoli if you want. Once it's roasted, I'm going to throw in some pine nuts, some par grated Parmesan cheese straight onto the broccoli and the sheet tray, a little lemon zest, some sliced chili. All the stuff that we're going to put on top is optional. It's more of a holiday, bright and special kind of presentation. But again, I want to stress this is a roasted broccoli video. I'm using broccolini today, which is more expensive than regular broccoli. It's, I guess, a baby broccoli. I think it's just a variation of broccoli. It looks like broccoli rabe, but tastes more like broccoli. And I sort of prefer it. They come in these little bunches, and this was $3 a bunch. Um, so yes, it's expensive, but basically one of these feeds a person. So, you know, you just get a bunch of them, suck it up, it's the holidays, which is the time I like to splurge. So I'm gonna use this. You can also use regular broccoli. This will work for that as well. So that's it. We're gonna get the broccoli prepared. We're gonna cut the shallots in a specific way so that they roast properly. Slice up some of the chili and then we should be ready to go. All of this stem is edible. It's just a little dried out at the end. So what I just wanna do is kinda just trim them a little bit. Try and get them the same size. Large sheet tray. Larger the sheet tray is always better. The more surface area you have, the better you can brown whatever vegetable you're cooking. Pick up any loose leaves that you find. They're gonna burn, so just get them out of there. I've got two shallots. Shallots, I kind of prefer when doing something like this. Um, they just have a sweeter, kind of better flavor than regular onions. Although you can use regular onions. They are cheaper and easier to work. But what I'm gonna do is keep the stem sort of on. So I've got them whole, I've got the root still attached, so it's just trimmed down and cleaned. I'm just going to cut thin slices, making sure I'm still along the root. So I can roast these now, and they'll pretty much stay together. I can flip them if I need to. Now obviously if you're cooking for more people, you want to scale this up. Um, again, it's, there's no recipe, you just want to... You'll just want to add more of everything. You want to just make sure that you don't overcrowd the pans and it's better to use two pans than to one. And if you are making this for the holidays, this is something I would suggest prepping ahead of time and then cooking right before service. These don't really heat up well. So this is like one of the last minute things you would do on a holiday. Now all we're going to do is olive oil. Salt, and then pepper. You want them nicely coated with oil, like they're all glistening. Again, I think one of the problems most people run into when roasting is crowding the pan and not using enough oil. Also, not cooking at a high enough temperature, although you can achieve a good roasted vegetable at a lower temperature. That's just a different technique that I don't often use because it just takes more time. So spread them out, knowing that the edges tend to get hotter than the center. So the smaller guys like this that are gonna burn probably quicker, I like to throw into the middle. I've got an oven preheated at 450 degrees. I'm gonna throw these in there. I'm gonna cook them for 10 minutes. Wait till I hear like some sizzling and to see if they get a little color. 
and once they get color on one side and browned and charred, which I'll show you, then you just want to kind of flip it and create that same texture and look on the other side. I'm not going to tell you to cook it for 20 minutes or 40 minutes. I'm going to tell you to cook, use your eyeballs and your senses to tell yourself when it's done. And again, the hardest thing is going to be to determine how long to cook them and making sure you get a nice char and not getting a nice burn. That's the biggest difference in roasting vegetables with high heat. The perfection lies in like charring it almost till it burns, but making sure they don't. So here we got Parmigiano Reggiano. You can tell it's real Parmigiano Reggiano by the, the stamp on the outside of the rind. That's what you want to look for. It's got this kind of like crystallized, delicious saltiness that we're going to grate over using this microplane, which has these little fine edges that's going to shave it very thin over the top. I have this in my Amazon store, so if you need one, you can go down and pick it up in the essential tools section. Here I have pine nuts, right? And pine nuts are super expensive. This is about two or three dollars worth of pine nuts right here. I love them. You can use any nut you want or you don't need to use this nut at all. When they're done toasting, I'm going to throw this into the pan with them and just toast them in the oven really quickly. And that's just going to add a nice little crunch and nuttiness and sustenance to the dish. And it's just going to elevate it a bit more. Use, I'm going to use the microplane again for zesting lemon zest on top of the broccoli when it's done. And I've got some chilies that I'm just going to slice up really thin and use that as some garnish on top. It's going to add a little heat, a little more flavor. It's just going to make it pretty Pretty delicious. So we're gonna chop this guy up. crusting here. It's been about 10-15 minutes. They're gonna go in for another five or ten minutes. Try and get a little bit more color on them. That's the kind of color you want to start to see. Nice charred bits. All right, so we're getting some good color on them now. I'm just gonna take a couple sprinkles of the pine nuts. Just get them all over there. A little bit of the zest. Parmesan and like you can be a little crazy with it. Even get it on the parts where it's just the pan. The idea is it's all gonna melt and crisp up together and create this sort of cheesy glob of roasted broccoli. That's gonna be really delicious. So don't be scared to get it all over the place in the pan. And then just continue cooking this until that cheese gets nice and golden brown and is like crisp but pliable. So you can sort of bend it and then we're sort of done. have some like structure to it. They're not completely overcooked. You know, they're holding up, so there's bite to it, but it's also nice and roasted. And the onions are delicious. I love it now. It's really good. I know if you cook it right, anybody will love it. It's not even November, and we've got roasted carrots and roasted broccoli, two options for sides during the holidays, and we haven't even gotten started. Tune in next episode where I carve a pumpkin. Thank you guys for watching. As we head into the holiday season, I'm just very grateful to have you guys here. And uh, just wanted to say I appreciate you all. I appreciate all my Patreons. If you wanna be a part of my Patreon producers, wanna help the show out, feel free to hit the Patreon link in my description. Next episode, I'm gonna carve a Not Another Cooking Show pumpkin. That's all I've got. See you next time. Do me a favor and feed yourself.